What's going on guys? So I'm going to show you how to do a button animation in Webflow. In the previous video we did an animation in Figma. So we have a circle below this button and when you hover it over this button the button like scales up and then the button text uh, changes color as well. And so we will implement that in Webflow now. So Let's see, I just have a container here with a bunch of padding just to kind of put it in the center of the screen with some flex. Uh, that part is kind of irrelevant. I'm going to do Command K and then I'm going to search for a div and enter that in. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to give it a class of button container. So we're going to put a button inside this. Um, and so let's do that now, Command K and then button. And we're not going to link to anything for now. We see this horrendous default button uh, style. Um, let's say sign up. I'm just kidding, it's not that horrendous. Let's see, so we'll give this a class of button because we're going to style this. Let's bring that button text up a bit, say 20 pixels, sounds good. Um, it says the text color is this dark color, which it's not. We're just going to manually set it to white just to make sure that is set. And then the background, we'll go ahead and do transparent. Uh, border radius, actually let's give it a border first. So one pixel and we'll make that white. And then border radius, I'm gonna hold option and yeah, just give that Sure, 50 pixels sounds good. That's looking good. We need to add some padding though. So I'm gonna hold option again so that it's applying padding on the left and right side equally. Say like that, looks good, sure. Um, okay, so that is the button. I think that looks good. And that's inside of this button container div. And now we want to create a circle that we were going to place, you know, outside of this container. Um, so actually we want to make this container, because we're in the container now, we want to do, let's see, where is it at here? Position here. Um, we're going to do relative, because we want to make this circle absolute positioned and outside of the container there. And so now get the button container, I'm going to do command K again, do another div. And then I will give this a class of, let's just call it a hover circle. And then in Figma, we just did like a small circle, but yeah, you can do like 17 pixels width and also 17 pixels for the height. And then go to the radius here, the border radius, say a hundred percent, making that a circle. Um, background color, we're going to make the circle white because that will kind of animate up and then fill in that circle. And so because of that, we need to do position absolute. And then let's see. Waiting for this arrow to show. There we go. So I'm going to bring it over to the center here. And so now it is, the circle is just below this button and this uh, button container. Um, and let's see, the 
button, we gave it a radius of 50 pixels. So we want to do that to the container as well. Because when this uh, scales up, we don't want it to show on these edges here outside of the uh, button. So 50 pixel radius on the actual button. So on the button container, we will also do a border radius of 50 pixels. And then we also want to do, so we have position relative. We want to do uh, overflow hidden, and that's going to hide that button. So this is kind of our before our animation, uh, like our standard button state. And so now with this button container, we can add an interaction. So we're going to do it on the container. So if they hover over that, we'll do uh, animations on the circle and the button itself. But when they hover over the container, we'll kind of do it then. So on, we're hitting this plus sign and interactions here, and we'll go to mouse hover. And then we have on hover and on hover out. So on and you know, we don't really need the hover effects for the tablet and phone. It's kind of desktop only. Um, so on hover, select an app and action. We will do animation. And then we can create our own. We'll hit that plus sign there and we'll name it um, button hover. Sounds good. And then we'll do a plus sign to create our own. And we will, let's see, the first one we will scale. Let's see, we want to select a different element first because we want to scale up the uh, circle. So I'm going to click the circle here and then hit the plus sign. So we'll do it on that and we'll scale that up. And we're not doing it on the class. We want to click that and select selected element. We're going to set this as initial state because that will be the initial state. And just keep it to the default one here. It's already set, but it kind of makes you set something. So we're just going to keep it to the initial state of one as the initial state. And then go to the button because we want to change this button text from white to black. So the initial state on the button text, we want to do text color is going to be our animation. Um, and again, just the element selected, set initial state. Oh, no, no, not. Okay, there we go. Typography, we will set to white. That'll be the initial state. So go back to hover circle here, do another animation. because so we have the initial state, and now we want to do where it ends. So we're going to do scale. And then after previous action, duration 0.2. Sounds good. Um, Instead of linear, let's do ease in out. Clicking that drop down there. And then I'm going to hit option and then just click and drag until that's covering. That looks good. So that's at 10. And then if I select the button, so it's covering the text, by the way. Um, so we're going to have to add a Z index on the uh, on the button and bring that ahead of the circle. So we'll do that in a second so that we can see the button text. But we also want to change the button text to black. So I'm going to add another animation here. Continuing off the uh, text color initial state, we're doing text color again. And this will be with the previous action because with the scale animation, so we'll say with previous, and that's going to join those. Um, 
with previous action. We'll also do this one as 0.2. And we will also do this as ease in out. And then for the typography, we will go to black. And yeah, we cannot see it at all. So let's go back to, I'm gonna save this. And then if I go to button here, I'm gonna go to style. Let's see where we got static. Let's make that relative so that we can add a Z index. I think two will work. Um, let's see what that looks like. Let's go back to this button container. Click on our mouse hover. Click on our animation that we created. And if we preview it now, there we go. So we see it animate up and this white text turns to black and we can actually see it this time. So that looks good. So that is our uh, hover, like on hover, when they start to hover over the button. And we will save that. And then we have this on hover out. We're still in interactions here on the button container. So on hover out, we will select an action and we will start an animation when they hover out. And we're gonna duplicate this button hover animation that we just created. Um, is this the duplicate? Let's see, I don't think it is. There we go. So the three dots there and then duplicate button hover two. Um, and then the, the gear icon to edit this, we'll just say button hover out. So when they hover out of it. And let's see. So this is where we ended our previous animation. So I'm gonna select one and then hold shift, select the other. And I'm gonna move these. It's not let me go above them. Let me select these two and I'll move these past the end ones. We're just switching spots there. Um, and I think we should be good there. I'm gonna save that and then let's preview it. So on hover, it looks good. Okay, so we gotta change the duration because it's pretty slow. Um, I don't think I set the duration when I made the like initial state. Um, so if we go to our hover out here, hit the gear icon and this kind of last, yeah, this is saying 0.5. Let's change that to 0.2. And we can also change that to ease in, ease out. Do that with this one as well. 0.2 duration, ease in and out. Save that, let's try that out. So, button looks good, that animation solid. And there we go, looking great. Um, and then, you know, you can make this a uh, component, click the container, right click, create component. And then, you know, button. Um, and then just kind of use that wherever in your website. So, yeah. So, pretty quick tutorial, but hopefully it wasn't too fast. And I hope it was helpful. If it was, let me know. Um, or if you want me to cover something else, let me know that as well. And Webflow or Figma. And thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Check it, check it, check it.